Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for visiting with us this evening. Well, I've traveled across half our state to be here and to see about this land. Now, I dare say some of you might have heard some of the more extravagant rumors about what my plans are. I just thought you'd like to hear it from me. This is the face. It's no great mystery. I'm an oil man. Numerous concerns spread across this state. I have many wells flowing at many thousand barrels per day. I like to think of myself as an oil man. As an oil man, I hope that you'll forgive just good old-fashioned plain speaking. Now, this work that we do is very much a family enterprise. I, I work side by side with my wonderful son, H.W. I think one or two of you might have met him already. And, uh, I encourage my men to bring their families as well makes for an ever so much more rewarding life for them. Family means children. Children means education. So wherever we set up camp, education is a necessity, and we're just so happy to take care of that. So let's build a wonderful school in Little Boston. These children are the future that we strive for, and so they should have the very best of things. Now, something else. Uh, and please don't be insulted if I speak about this bread. Let's talk about bread. In my mind, uh, it's an abomination to consider that any man, woman, or child in this magnificent country of ours should have to look upon a loaf of bread as a luxury. We're going to dig water wells here, and uh, water wells means irrigation. Irrigation means cultivation. We're going to raise crops here where before it just simply wasn't possible. You're going to have more grain than you know what to do with. Bread will be coming right out of your ears, ma'am. New roads. Agriculture, employment, education. These are just a few of the things that we can offer you. And I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that if we do find oil here, and I think there's a very good chance that we will, this community of yours will not only survive, it will flourish. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Yes. Will the new road lead to the church? Well, that'll be the first place that it leads. Thank you, Eli. Anyone else? Well, if anything comes up, I'm pretty easy to find. You just come visit with me. Thank you so much for your time. 